to infinity and beyond. Everybody, it's Roger and James here with the Infinity and Beyond podcast presented by DizKingdom.com and DizGaming.com. In this episode, we're just going to be having a little bit of a chat about what we're currently playing ourselves. Um, so, James, what have you been playing recently? Uh, well, let's see. I picked up uh, Disney Magic Kingdoms again recently uh, because they have the Zootopia story content added into there. Uh, I've been playing some Injustice 2 on my Xbox One and uh, Marvel Heroes Omega on the PlayStation 4 in between playing a little bit of Uncharted 2 because I'm trying to get through the uh, the Nathan Drake collection. Yeah. Very, very similar. Obviously, Marvel Heroes Omega is something I've been kind of going through the main story. Injustice did distract me for a, the weekend of, of its release because I really enjoyed the story. It took me about four or four and a half hours to play through. I haven't really gone and gone back to it Um been playing a bit of Uncharted 4, so that I got, that was actually a Christmas gift, I wanted to get it out. Um, as of right now, though I don't know it yet, I'll be playing um, Horizon Zero Dawn, because that's... Um, you know, no one tell my, Roger. Uh, yeah, that's my, new, <laughs> that's my birthday present this week, but by then, it's going to be a week away, so it'll be fine. Um, this last weekend, I was actually playing ARMS, the test fire was up on the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is a game's out in mid-June. Um, it's kind of this odd, like, Nintendo game, which is... You shoot it, you know, you're firing punches at it. And it's kind of, I think, ever since it got revealed, it was always like this bit of a, okay, we got Mario Kart, we got Zelda, we got Splatoon, we got Mario Odyssey. Arms, well, yeah, whatever. It's not, it's a, it's a new Nintendo franchise. It's not, um, not very well known. It's got stupid controls, you know, motion controls. But it's a little bit laxer. Having right. played it this weekend, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy playing it. Um, there is a little bit of technique and stuff into it. Um, while you can throw you, I was just using it on on because whenever they do these test fires, I basically have to play in handheld mode because it's not good timing usually because it's not my time to play normally at that point. So playing in handheld mode, I just use the buttons and stuff. Perfectly fine. Really enjoyed it. I am not going to touch the kind of the waggle mode on this thing in the yeah. slightest. It's not. I hated that with the Wii. I just Despised, you know, anything to do with you know, move your controller. I remember if it was a Marvel game, wasn't it? It's like I can't stand motion controls. I hate it. This game's a lot of fun. You know, you've got the different characters. They've got different weapons and stuff. It's a lot. I'm really, really tempted with this now. Um, I, uh, I was way off my test swing of like even playing this. It's a lot of fun. The only trouble for me is this. I tend to love more the story-driven games, right? So this hasn't really got that. It's kind of pick up play for half an hour, etc. Here and there. It's a lot right. of fun. Yeah, um, I was uh, busy this weekend. The, the when they had the test fires, yeah. it was my my sister's wedding, so I obviously was not going to prioritize playing Arms over my my Ooh. sister. Uh, but to be honest, it's a game that's not that high on my radar. I know a lot of Nintendo fans are are. Mm -hmm. Very interested in this. It sounds like the test fire was very successful for Nintendo. And honestly, I hope they keep up this test fire program. Um, it was very successful for Splatoon 2. Uh, I didn't have a Switch at the time, so yeah. I couldn't do anything. Uh, it sounds like it's very successful for ARMS. So I'm really kind of hoping as they launch some new franchises that this is a good way to get that, that word out to Switch players who don't follow podcasts, who don't you know yeah. follow the Res TV guys or whatever, uh, and so that they would never have heard of ours. No. Or, they, or they would have seen yeah. it at Best Buy and be like, that's not Mario, I'm yeah. not touching that. I mean, it's the kind of thing of just putting out a demo and letting us play it. I mean, that's one thing that's standardized fair. I don't like the thing with the test fire where you're restricted into times. Um, I'd much rather they just turn around and go, okay, you can play for an hour, but you have to play, you can only play for an hour over that whole weekend, time it down. But they want to test the servers. Now, right. I'm going to be totally honest with you. When I did my arms test, I had zero, zero problems. I played for the whole hour straight, no issues, no logouts, no technical issues at all. It was smooth as butter. My first time playing Splatoon online was a bit hit and missing, but probably 45 minutes out of the 55 minutes I was playing. The second test fire on Splatoon, I couldn't even get in after half an hour. I gave up because I got that frustrated. So for me, the last test fire I did with Splatoon was a disaster. This one was perfect. So whether or not there was more more people playing, whether or not there was less people playing, whether they got more servers in, for me, but the, it was night and day between my last between the two test fires. So that worked very very good. Um, 
again, am I gonna? I don't know if I'm gonna pre-order it because obviously that week we've got Cars Free coming out the same week, so I'm gonna be very busy with that game. Um, but it's on my radar now. And the thing of the Nintendo games don't tend to drop too much. I'm actually would be more inclined to pick this up than I was. I was nearly gonna pick up Super Street Fighter 2 on the Switch, but I didn't like the 35 pound price tag. I'd rather spend 40 pound now and get Arms than buy a 20 euro game. Uh, it was so much fun. I mean, there's a lot of complaints from people saying that the three-way matches and the four-way matches were hard and they didn't work. Coming from a wrestling background, <laughs> I didn't... I, it was like, well, I've already... It was, oh, it's just a triple threat. Or, oh, we were in a fatal four-way. You know, I instantly had my terminology already. It was, was just a triple threat match. You know, I know the rules. I'm used to wrestling. You know, I'm used to having these matches on the WWE games. And I've been playing WWE games like this for 20, 30... You know, as an arcade back in the 80s playing wrestling games. So to me, there was none of that issue of like, yeah, okay, you are going to get, you could get double teams or you could double team on them. You've got to pick your, I didn't have a problem with it. It was quite funny because I was reading on the, like, I think on the Res and Discord, they were talking, oh, I don't like this. I don't like, and I'm like, well, I didn't, I won one. And I also was a bit like, no, this is, this is fine. I don't have an issue. This is actually quite fun because it was just a very cool game. I mean, there's that kind of thing you're throwing the arms out and they swing and they, it's a bit slow because you've got to wait for them to recoil. So you've got to time it right. You can bend them. And I mean, I couldn't quite work out how to use the special move to kind of do the really fast ones. Um, but then again, it's, it's an hour test fire. You can't really, but it kept my attention for the full hour. So I, I think that worked well. And I'm now going into the second test fire weekend. If I'm at home, Unfortunately, I'm moving like this this week that it's, yeah. this podcast coming out, so I don't know whether or not I'll be able to play it or not. But I'm going to try and get in on that second weekend. Obviously, you'd have seen the play by now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I <laughs> uh, I think you know for Nintendo, these test fires are going to get more positive buzz than negative buzz in most cases. So. Like I said previously, I really hope they continue doing. I'm not sure if I'm going to try out Arms. But, I mean, it's free to try out, so yeah. who's to say? Um, it just doesn't seem like my kind of game, no. plus I've got a ton of other stuff to deal yeah. with. But, man, they're, yeah. they're knocking it out of the park with the Switch. Yeah, uh, ditch the waggle, guys. It, 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 but, let it die with the Wii. But let it die with the Wii, A please. lot of people say it's really fun and it's really good. I don't like it, but that's the fact I can just play with the, you know, the Joy-Cons in the right. grip or on the Pro Controller. And I used just used it in handheld mode as I was. I didn't. I wasn't waggling it around or swiping it around because, and I didn't have an issue with it. But it was fun, and it's definitely much higher on my radar now of a game to pick up. It could be, but it, again, I think so close to injustice. I'm a little bit like I've just had one, and then you're gonna have Marvel versus Capcom. So where it slides into it, I think if I didn't have other games on the on the go in June. That I'm trying to clear out the back catalogue because um, I'm looking at the list of games. Right. Going, well, July is going to be. I'll pick up Splatoon. You know, you keep seeing. You know, there's so many games in so little time, and this whole thing about being services and you keep coming back to games. I'm literally now like sometimes it's like the game of the week or the game for the two weeks and move on. Game for the hour. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, the way my backlog looks like right now, I think game for the hour is probably more appropriate. But yeah. I, this isn't on really on my long term radar, but I think the buzz from Nintendo fans. You, you mentioned the Res TV guys. The buzz we're getting from the Nintendo fans suggests that there will be a certain amount of longevity for this, and I think yeah. it'll. If it had been released farther into the life cycle of the Switch, it might not do so well because there would already be a, a yeah. catalog of titles available. Uh, including uh, what Hyper Street Fighter Two yeah. Ultimate Edition, which just came out. Um, but at this point, when we're still kind of going, all right, most people are done with Breath of the Wild or aren't yeah. going to play it. We're still waiting for Mario Odyssey. Uh, Fire Emblem's a year off. Uh, obviously, we get the Warriors <laughs> version. But most people care about the real and the Fire elite Emblem. Mario Wabbits game. <laughs> I don't know what – we don't know enough about that game for me to hate it yet, but – Ah, oh, see, I'm, I'm giving. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it the. I'm in this very mode, and I think there's a lot of us in this same zone. I think there's a lot of us in our this particular age group that we're in. That's very much kind of very forgiving of the fact of. 
we quite like having some simple games for us to play. <laughs> oh no, 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 don't get me wrong. I love having some simple games. There's yeah. some there, there's something great about like if they're going back to the old school, mm. uh, maybe mixing Zelda with the original Mario RPG yeah. style, something like that. I'm totally on the side of that. My problem is like rabbits. Really, we're gonna do rabbits. They're they're less likable minions. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, apparently the thing is, is that they. I was listening to some of the Nintendo voice chat as I was walking to work this morning, and they are massive out, outside of the US. They're massive they really? in Canada, and they're really big in Europe. Um, okay. They All are, right. They, uh, there is there is an audience for the rabbits, and it's it's definitely. Um, there is still an audience for it. I'm gonna wait till right. we find out. Sure. Hopefully, we'll find out some stuff at E3, but. Generally, I do feel like Nintendo is doing a very good job of getting his games out. And like I said, Arms is was a solid. I had enjoyed it. I played it for an hour, liked it. Um, but I, yeah, it's. Now I think with between Uncharted Four, Horizon Zero Dawn, Cars Three, Marvel Hero Omega, Kingdom Hearts One and Two that I've got to finish off. Breath of right. Wild Inside. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> I could, I could change my, my background here from books to video games yeah. of just games I have not played yet. Oh, although most of them were digital, so I couldn't put them on the yeah. shelf. But yeah. I've got to say, you know, going back to the rabbits really, really briefly here, I don't expect we'll see much from E3 because E3 was supposed to where the surprise reveal was supposed to be, and it's not a surprise no. anymore. So um, I, I don't like the rabbits, but I am going to give this game a shot yeah. because... A good Super Mario RPG, I'm 100% down with that. A, a good Super Mario RPG, I would absolutely get, regardless of the rabbits being in it. If they are that popular outside of the U.S., uh, and I'm not doubting that they are, then, okay, I totally understand why they would use the rabbits in this case. That yeah. that that makes sense, then. Well, on that note, guys, we'd love to know what you guys think of ARMS. Did you get to try out the test fire? Let us know your thoughts on that. Like I said, occasionally we like to just have a little bit of a chat about what we're playing outside of the world of Disney games. On that note, guys, you can find out James more information on his website over at HeroicLegacy.com. You can find me over at ThisKingdom.com, also ThisGaming.com as well. We're going to be giving away a copy of Cars Free Driven to Win this month, so you definitely want to check out the website there to find information on how you can... Um, find out information on joining and stuff so thank you to everyone that's watching or listening on whichever platform it is that you are doing it and hit that subscribe button and we shall see you guys soon laters later